very first encounter that was uh, the most traumatic that I have personally experienced. Um, I was about 13 years old and um, I was in Virginia Beach at the time and I was leaving an event with um, my friends and my cousins and we were on our way home and we were making a U-turn at a yellow light and the yellow light turns red as we're making a U-turn. And so we are immediately swarmed by the police. Um, and what made it so traumatic for me was not only were we, we weren't just pulled over by the police, the police pulled us over and approached the vehicle with their guns drawn. Now imagine I am 13 years old at the time and I am staring out of the window and all I can see is down a barrel of a gun and, and immediately I think like oh my goodness I could be dead right now um I was petrified we all were afraid um we were not told as to why we were being pulled over um we were told that the vehicle was going to be searched um eventually we were let go but not after an extensive search of the vehicle and um the embarrassment of being of having to sit on the side of the road as cars drove by as if we were criminals. Um, and so that was a level of violation that I had never felt before. And it did not end there. Um, eventually, I, I went to law school in Bloomington, Indiana, at Indiana University Meyer School of Law. And during my time there, um, I made friends with other graduate students and one of my friends, uh, one of their um, students that they taught at Indiana University, they were um, joining a fraternity and we wanted to support this student in their new member presentation show, also known as a probate. And so we went to the probate. We supported the student. Afterwards, we were gonna to go to a celebration um, for their um, monumentous accomplishment, momentous occasion. And uh, we went to the gas station on the way to the event. And as soon as we were pulling out of the gas station, literally, as soon as we pulled out of the gas station parking lot, we were pulled over. And we had no idea why we were being pulled over because we had just pulled off from the gas station parking lot. So the police comes to the car and he's asking us a ton of questions. Where are you going? Uh, where are you coming from? Um, what, what are you doing here? Um, have you been drinking? Do you have any drugs or alcohol on you? X, Y, and Z. And so as we... Uh, proceeded to ask why we were being pulled over uh, when the officer first approached the vehicle he never answered us he just kept at asking us questions and so in that type of situation you is <laughs> you don't respond uh, you just answer and go along and and so in order to try to de-escalate the situation and so after an extensive line of questioning, he realized that we weren't drinking, we weren't under the influence, we were students um, at the university. After checking all of our IDs um, for every person that was in the car, um, he eventually told us that we did not turn on a turn signal to turn out of the gas station for on a one-way street. It was the most bizarre thing I have ever heard and um, you could tell that it was a pretextual investigative stop. Not only did it stop there, eventually I graduated, of course, and now I am in Seattle and I am starting my legal career. And this one is just so uh, critical to me because it, it's a constant reminder that no matter what accomplishments you have, no matter how many degrees you have, no matter um, your background or where you live, you're still gonna be profiled. And so my very first day starting my first job, 
after law school, I was on my way to the office excited um, that I had finally graduated and I was going to start my legal career and it was quickly um, damaged and ruined. I will, I will always have this memory of starting my legal career and being reminded that I was still black. <laughs> On my way to the office, I'm driving and the I'm pulled over. I have no idea why I'm, why I'm pulled over because in Seattle, there is a ton of traffic. And so it's kind of difficult to, unless you do something egregious, it's difficult to have a, um, a moving violation in traffic. And so um, the uh, officer approaches my vehicle and he asks, do you know why I'm pulling you over? I know I have no idea why you're pulling me over. Can you tell me why you're pulling me over? He doesn't answer me. He immediately goes into a line of questioning. Where are you going? I'm headed to work. Um, is this your vehicle? Do you own this vehicle? Um, is this a rental car? Um, how can you afford this vehicle? What do you do for a living? Um, where are you coming from? It was as if I just felt totally violated as if he was just profiling me and had no real reason as to why he was pulling me over other than to see um, was I some sort of drug dealer or something, I don't know. Um, and so after he takes my license and registration, he comes back, he finally tells me, you did not merge soon enough. And it was, again, it was the most bizarre experience because I have never in my life been pulled over for not merging soon enough. And it was at that moment that I understood that yet again, it was a pretextual um, investigative stop. And so with all this going on in our nation and across the world, I really do, I'm thankful that we're bringing awareness to these issues and that we're having this conversation. And I hope that this um, sheds light on that. It doesn't just happen to people on TV. It doesn't, it's not remote, it's not far removed. And um, it doesn't just happen in inner cities. It doesn't just happen in black neighborhoods or people that you don't know. Uh, this happens all the time, and um, I hope that this can continue the conversation. And by sharing my story, I also just want to challenge you as my colleagues, as my allies, as my friends. Um, when you see something, say something. And when you're in a room and you're having conversations, please just um, speak to those who don't have voices to speak and to also just continue the conversation and do what you can to bring about change and awareness because we cannot get over this issue without all of our input and all of us working together.